I think we had a minus three and it got up to a warm one degree. We got everything here. <laughs> Snow, <laughs> hail. Last night I'd say but a little bit on the ground. But um yeah. We've had everything you can mother nature can throw at us. <laughs> you don't often get a frozen solid strop when it's fabric. Holds its shape. Yeah Roger. Have you got that cobra off? Yeah, we're just dropping it to the ground and we'll give you a call in a couple of minutes so you can um, deal with that uh, 5 Roger that. Mission today. We're going to be uh, just making this one off here, cutting it, and then we're going to uh, pull the bottom wire on this side. That's, that's the final nine wires all up then, so, mm, today. <laughs> but what happens, over the other side, they release the 5.8 and the nylon rope off the Cobra, and then we'll pull back the 5.8 wire rope. We'll pull these two wires that are up here already, up to 90% sag, cut the one on this side, and then um, dead end it, and then send it through again. That's the third one coming through, and then Sag and dead end all of them, and we're away. Out of here. Fine weather. <laughs> yeah, Roger Bergie. Five eight, all yours, yeah. Roger, we're pulling it across. I've got to go. Oh, we're pulling the thousand kg yeah, on a final pull. Temperamental. We've had, um, yeah, we've got a problem with the gearbox at the moment. One of the gearboxes they, they ain't working properly, so yeah, we'll get yeah, that seem to, but it's working right for this job for now. Roger that, I'll get these fellas up there. Well, this is just the, the spacing clamps that goes across the uh, spaces of three conductors uh, evenly together. And this mower conductor passes through here. So there has to be a clamp arrangement so we can compress that there and close that key to make it secure. So they're going to be three are secured. So they travel across the um, a conductor here on a trolley, which is a certified trolley. There's two people, is it, or one? one? One person in there, and he has to basically install his spacer, and he needs to be up in the air there, so he needs a, a, an appropriate tool to compress this area here to do it safely. So it's important that we uh, get the process right, especially working high in the air across the, uh, across the river here as we move from South Canterbury to North Otago. <laughs> yeah. If we don't get it set up right here, it can make life harder when they come to do everything else. So need to make sure everything's correct. We'll put a dyno in each set of three and pair everything up to that so we know that we've got everything at around the same pretension.
measured it just to put to um, trim around it just to get the steel the inside steel bit onto it. So we can press the steel first. Now we're down to the steel core. We've got to open it up and clean the strands and get all the grease off it and once we do that we've got to apply a special grease so it's a it's a um, gritty grease Because if you don't want to get hot joints, eh? Yeah, what they're just doing here, they're, they're actually crimping the uh, steel in the core of the mower con conductor. The mower conductor's got a, uh, a spine to it, it's got a steel inner core that takes all the weight of the conductor. So what they've done here, they've fitted on the what they call the dead end. They then pressed it with a hydraulic crimp press here. Now they're just doing to make, just checking, doing a QA check to make sure the diameter is correct. And it's crimped down to the required um, setting. So I'll take a photograph of, of the uh, crimp for the record and that's recorded as part of their quality assurance, quality control uh, documentation. So once that's completed then they'll uh, change the dies, we'll change the bottom die there now and the top die to crimp the actual outer dead end onto the uh, aluminium conductor section of the uh, mower. Now we just crimp from here to yep. the mill. Yep. We missed this bit out and crimp all the way back right. then. Okay. So it's a process that they, uh, I guess, have done many, many times, and this is the last conductor that you're going to pull across from switchyard A to switchyard B in a few minutes. There have been, uh, there's nine conductors, three per phase. So this is the last dead end on the last conductor, which will be then made off over at switchyard B, made onto the hardware and insulators over there. Then they'll, they'll do a, a, a tension it up and do a pre-tension, and then they'll sever that cable. Yes, good job. Get used to it, eh? Get used to the heights and that, too. Got a gearbox which drives hydraulic pump. Just, you know, allows the big wheels to go, and we just adjust the dials to whatever we need to, which will put pressure to sort of hold the wire from taking off on us. running and just adjusting it so it's not going too low or too high. And so they're also they're trying to allow so that the machine on the outside, the puller, can, can still pull. Yeah, we're, we're stopping it from going into the water and not letting it go too far down and not putting too much pressure on so we're going to, you know, overstrain something. It is a large bit of cable, yeah. The biggest I've ever pulled. It's just a good bunch of guys to have down. They're um, motivated really high. Mission accomplished. Last one across. And it's turned out beautiful. <laughs>